The attorney for Jerry Jones and for the Dallas Cowboys calls a sex assault lawsuit against the Cowboys owner extortion. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. The accuser says in the lawsuit when she complained, Jones and the organization conspired to cover it all up. While Fox 4 does not typically identify an accuser in any sex assault claim, 27-year-old Janet Workley has gone very public with her case. First on Fox 4, Calvin Collins of Valley Ranch with more on her and the lawsuit. Calvin. Well, Stephen Heather, the only response we're hearing from the Dallas Cowboys organization, also named in this suit, is through Jerry Jones' attorney. The suit was filed last night. Some of the details are too graphic to share, but it stems from an alleged incident that happened years ago. The woman making the claims is 27-year-old Jana Weckerly, seen here in pictures from social media. On a modeling website, it says she worked as an exotic dancer and went to hair school and now lives in Oklahoma. In the lawsuit, Weckerly claims the incident happened in May or June of 2009 and alleges Jerry Jones touched and kissed her without permission and forced her to watch him engage in sexual acts with other women. Weckerly's attorney told other media outlets in a statement, the alleged sexual assault happened in a bathroom of a local five-star hotel. He says she was sober and escaped Jones' hotel room by convincing the group to go dancing. I know you didn't count them, so. He goes on to say the 71-year-old Cowboys owner started out as a friendly guy who just wanted to party, even offering to put his Super Bowl ring on her finger, but he continued making advances. In the lawsuit, Weckerly alleges Jones and other Cowboys higher-ups threatened her and told her not to say anything about the incident or else. Further, it says Jones and Cowboys associates bullied her into signing documents against her will. Her attorney says she was humiliated, fearful, and angry, and that she has suffered many other damages, including loss of self-esteem, loss of trust, depression, substance abuse, and suicide attempts. Jerry Jones' attorney responded to the lawsuit with this statement. These allegations are completely false. The legal complaint is unsupported by facts or evidence of any kind. This is nothing more than an attempt to embarrass and extort Jerry Jones. This is a shakedown by a lawyer who is a solo practitioner just trying to make a name for himself. The alleged incidents would have been more than five years old. A Jones attorney Levi McCathern goes a step further saying that Jones and his whole team will vigorously fight this complaint and believes it's going to be exposed for what it is, calling it a money grab. He also says they're working with law enforcement, but my DPD sources say that Dallas police at this point have nothing on this case. We can tell you that Jana Weckerly is asking for a million dollars in punitive damages and a jury trial. Stephen Heather. All right, so Calvert, talk about the timing. So many years. Why is she filing that lawsuit now? Well, of course, that's certainly what a lot of people want to know. Her attorney did not respond to our calls or emails uh, with a lot of questions this evening. But what we can tell you, doing a little bit of legal research here, that most civil lawsuits, again, this is a civil lawsuit, not criminal, uh, most have to be filed within two years of any alleged incident happening. But a couple years ago, in 2011, the state legislature changed that law to include sexual assaults with a five-year statute of limitation. But based on uh, she's alleging that this uh, incident happened in May or June, filed in September. There may, see, may be some issue over uh, just outside of that five-year statute. So could be some uh, legal hurdles that her team may have to go through. All right, got it. Calvert Collins live tonight. Thank you.